Hey fam, this is Hector Mirai, and you're listening to Faith in Fandom 180 on LTN Radio. So I'm a big fan of the idea of a live action Ahsoka TV series. I love the character, love her in Mandalorian, love her in Clone Wars, love her in Rebels, just chef's kiss all around. And once they announced this show was happening, you know, we all started saying, oh, we want this person cast for this. And we're, we're excited. Maybe they'll cast this person. And, you know, I've, I heard all the casting rumors forever. And, but you know what? I, I don't really need uh, you to sell me on who's being cast in the show because I'm going to watch it regardless because it's, it's, it's what I want. And um, when the trailer finally dropped after Star Wars Celebration UK... I saw the trailer, I loved the trailer, I shared the trailer, I, I talked about it with my kids, I showed it to my nerdy friends at church, you know, it was just, I, I saw that trailer at least a dozen times, at least. Then after talking with someone, they said, man, I can't believe Mary Elizabeth Winstead is playing Hera. And I said, what? No. I, I watched this trailer a dozen times, and I love Mary Elizabeth Winstead. That's Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim, that's huntress from birds of prey you know it's just this is obi-wan kenobi's wife no i know mary elizabeth winstead and i did not recognize her and sure enough i i am beat it and i was 100 percent wrong it totally is her great job on the makeup guys didn't even notice and it reminded me of this story in luke chapter 24 beginning in verse 30 the fact that just because we have seen something a million times before doesn't mean we should stop paying attention. This was right after the resurrection and there were these disciples walking back on the road to Emmaus and this dude walks up beside them and starts talking to them and it's it's actually Jesus, but they don't recognize him. And he's talking to them, asking them questions, explaining scripture to them, helping them understand, encouraging them to the point they even invite this dude to go back home to eat with them. And the entire time they were right beside Jesus and didn't recognize him. And in verse 30 through 32, look what it says. It says, when he sat down at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened when, and they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight. Verse 32 says, they asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while we talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? Y'all, we should be attentive to what's in front of us, because just because we're familiar with something great doesn't mean we won't miss it. If you'd like to learn more about Faith and Fandom, head on over to faithandfandom.org, where you can learn about our Comic-Con ministry, podcast, memes, apparel, and book series. You can even read new chapters before they make it to the next book. I'm Hector Mirai, and thank you for spending the last 180 seconds with me.